How to get over gambling. Decided to quit, but not quite sure where to start? Maybe you are looking for some extra strategies to stay away from gambling. If you're looking for some tips and tricks to stop gambling, then please keep watching. Number 1. Plan ahead to avoid boredom. Ex-gamblers, so used to the highs and lows of active addiction, typically struggle with periods of boredom in their lives. Try to plan your days so that you aren't tempted to fill empty space by gambling. Research seems to back this up when findings show that the problem gamblers have is a low threshold for boredom. When faced with an uninspiring task, they will invariably avoid it or not complete it. Number 2. Live your life one day at a time. This means trying to forget about what happened yesterday, including your gambling losses. A desire to get even with the bookmakers or casinos will restrict your ability to focus on your recovery issues. Taking your life one day at a time also means not worrying about what tomorrow might hold for you in your life. Keep the focus on what you can do today that will help your ongoing recovery from addiction. Number 3. Do something completely different. Your brain got used to working in a certain way when gambling, but it still needs to be constantly stimulated now that you have stopped. So, try to set yourself new goals and tasks each day. When you are focused on problem solving, you will be better able to cope with gambling urges when they come. Number 4. Rekindle an old hobby. Invariably, gamblers will lose interest in hobbies as they become more and more addicted to their gambling. After you have stopped, it is important to rekindle old hobbies. This will not only boost your self-esteem, but will also provide a regular reminder of your new way of life. Like most behavioral addictions, it is important to find a more healthy activity to replace negative addiction. This will keep you focused on the benefits of your new way of life rather than on what you are missing out on. Number 5. Be especially vigilant leading up to special events. Research has indicated that gamblers tend to have difficulties with the management of impulse control and with delaying gratification. Recognize the need to bolster your resolve when special events approach on the calendar. If you had been a sports gambler, for example, then special events such as football World Cups and European Championships, the Wimbledon Tennis Tournament, the Cheltenham Festival, Royal Ascot, or the Ryder Cup can be particularly challenging. Perhaps you need to avoid the increased hype within the media surrounding these events, especially when bookmarking firms offer special offers. Number 6. Find ways that help you cope better with stress. Stress is the barometer of how we manage our emotions and can be a major contributing factor in relapse from gambling recovery. It is vital to find new, healthy ways to cope with stress, whether that is physical exercise, meditation, hypnotherapy, or talking to a trusted friend. The risks are that the temptations to gamble will become stronger and stronger as you become more stressed. Number 7. Remind yourself that to gamble is to lose. It is important to remind yourself that in the absence of discipline, you will almost certainly lose your money, regardless of your betting strategy. This is the fundamental fact of problem gambling. Your gambling urges might appear as a seductive temptation when you are undergoing financial worries, especially as most forms of gambling offer the potential of immediate high reward. Reminding yourself that you can't stop once you start can help you to deal with any urges to gamble. Number 8. Identify your self-sabotage triggers. Your clean time is precious. See any urge to gambling as a temporary menace and be prepared for them to emerge before special occasions such as birthdays, wedding anniversaries, or exam time. Number 9. Visualize your betting firm or casino with a negative slogan. A 
associate your betting platform with a negative connotation and imagine a nasty image when you think of the operator's logo. This way, you can seek to empt the negative bias of gambling in your subconscious. It will also help you to remember exactly how low and desperate you felt when you stopped. Number 10. Write a daily gratitude list. Staying aware of how better your life is without gambling is vital in any relapse prevention strategy. If this conforms with any spiritual practice, then all the better. When we have a grateful attitude, we are less likely to be searching for excitement. Try it, it really works. Addictions can be seen as a failure to bond. A problem gambler has bonded with the activity of gambling because they couldn't bond as fully with anything else. It might follow, therefore, that the opposite of addiction is not clean time per se, but the human connection. That's one reason why 12-step meetings, such as Gamblers Anonymous, can help with the initial phase of acquiring abstinence. Counseling and talking therapy can help you to heal any old emotional wounds that are getting in your way. The process of building trust and rapport with the therapist can help to identify special personal vulnerabilities to relapse, hidden triggers, and to devise a plan for the successful maintenance of your recovery. As with quitting smoking, people who stop gambling experience urges to gamble. Urges are an inevitable part of stopping gambling and a natural part of the process of regaining control. Every time you overcome an urge, you are gaining more and more control. While you can restrict your exposure to gambling triggers, you will not be able to avoid them completely, which is why it is important to learn ways of managing the urges. Deciding to stop doing something you enjoy can be challenging. There are many times when it feels impossible, but remember lots of people have quit gambling and so can you. Do your best to stay away from gambling. The ideal outcome is that you stay away. However, if you do revert to gambling, don't get down on yourself. You can always get back on track and use the experience to learn how to stop next time. It is helpful to know lapses are normal and can happen at any time when you are trying to quit. When lapses do occur, becoming aware of the triggers that lead you to gamble can help you manage urges more effectively in future situations.